Exactly. Uh, so I've seen it here or there. We're like really early in the game. And I think it's really annoying for both sides. Yeah. Mega Man is able to um, deal with T-Jolt really well with pellets. And but Pikachu just has a really good combo game and is able to just drag him off. Whoa, how is Pikachu able to hit through the Leaf Shield? That was a bit of an interesting so interaction. So Leaf Shield um, isn't entirely normal. So if you put out a good enough hitbox, um, you can just push through the Leaf Shield. Yeah. Oh, great coverage from people that are just catching the immediate double jump to get back onto the stage. Not much uh, not much else after that, but, you know, just a good amount of damage thus far. Maybe trying to catch a dash and a jump. There are those up tilts. If she can get a much bigger punish if uh, they start recognizing when people is going to throw them out. Yeah. But people is really good at, at adaptation. That is one of their strongest suits. Getting a couple of more hits of Leaf Shield. Are they going to try to scout a double jump? No. This time they're just focusing on ledge trap and keeping themselves onto the ground. But a shooter is just going to be able to jump back on successfully. And both of them just backing out, retreating, and resetting the situation. Yeah. All right. Going past it and not getting caught by that thunder. Oh, trading what I, what I believe was an up tilt right there. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure what I just saw there. Oh, and once again, just putting a shooter in such a nasty position. Yeah, with no double jump. As Pikachu, you don't have that many landing options. After that up air, you just kind of suffer. Yeah, I haven't seen up air kill for probably about two years now. So that's it's pretty refreshing to see that still able to take stocks yeah. for Mega Man. The refreshing is definitely one way to put it. Oh, but a shooter, once, once it gets you starts dashing back and forth, you know what they're looking for. It, it, it's it's going to be dash attack every step of the way. So, uh, that's Pikachu doesn't have that many win conditions on somebody like Mega Man. Especially if people go, look how ambiguous. Oh, the, just getting it. <laughs> they're making the recovery. Just be going outside, be keeping that safe at the ledge. And, and you know, just really making the most out of the double jumps and upbeats. All right, up throw, not going to take it. Mega Man, really heavy character. Mm -hmm. I, I'm definitely on the heavy end. I don't know the exact way that I was about to say a number, but I'm like, nah, I'm probably wrong. I don't need to kiss the same thing. But Dance Man's taking it right there. Yeah, people are maybe getting a little bit too greedy with that falling back. Here. Um, but now, you know, people are just doing a really good job of playing keep away from A shooter. They're not finding a whole lot of ends um, and just like pressing the right buttons in, in the right places. They're going to have to start finding more responses to pellet. Yeah, definitely just looking for options. And the A shooter. Doesn't always go for the T-Jolt, and I think that's to the detriment. I know a lot of them are clanking, but a full hop T-Jolt have been making it through, so I would have done more, of the, like to see more of those go through. No double jump, and ends up just up being right into people. Every single time I feel like a shooter is consistently double jumping, or the, like, it's, it's difficult to say that they just double jumping or going low, but I feel like they could just be waiting a little bit more off stage because people has just been waiting for them just to just to commit to something. Yeah. They down tilt through. And just using dare to catch Pikachu under this the recognize the ability to recognize just the situation right there. Can keep some going for like a lot of these catches with dash and using up tilt at such a low percent. Not really sure what they're looking for. That leaf shield was unsafe. So th there, is, there is something that you need to recognize about leaf shield. You can cancel the end leg uh, with a projectile pickup or toss if you have like metal blade in hand. Uh, but if you don't have metal blade in hand, uh, leaf shield is extremely negative uh, on shield. So you can literally run up to Mega Man and hit him. Yeah, that's why a lot of Mega Mans would like to do leaf dash away from the leaf shield. Yeah. And then throw it at you again, just so they don't have to deal with the punish. Well, just minimize the punish, I think, yeah. because I'm pretty sure they should be able to get something like a dash attack uh, in that kind of situation. And again, they keep double jumping back on and then committing to something else in a range where people are is still able to control the stage. Um, I feel like if they should just sometimes maybe use the drift a little bit more and yeah. like wait it just a little bit before pressing a button, right? Like, they're trying to fight their way off the ledge. They're yeah. not in a safe space to really be pressing T-Jolt like that. That first T-Jolt, you know, it, it, I mean... Yeah, it doesn't cover you cause, in that situation because... You need to fade away. You need to fade back. Yeah. You know? So once you once you throw out that T-Jolt, you got to make sure you're, like, either going up and around Mega Man so that they're distracted and focused on the T-Jolt. If you're going and trying to follow the same exact space, people could just put out a hitbox and they're able to get away with it. Yeah, but now we're going to Kalos, and this is one of Pikachu's better stages. Pikachu being having the ability to have their T-Jolt ride the stage and a wall jump to yep. them. 
just gives them so many options. Oh, yeah. You have so much good cover in Mexico, so it's really going to be a challenge for the people out to find, hey, how can I pin this rat down? Uh, won't be particularly easy. Yeah, and hopefully we get to see those options. I know you did say that H shooter was just landing on stage, and hopefully they recognize it this game and is able to mix it up. Yeah. A lot of dash back F smashes are so good for this just because it's able to go through T-Jolt like that um, and just able to cover a lot of space that Pikachu wants to be landing in. So um, right now, Ishidu just playing confidently at center stage, just waiting for people uh, to jump in. Both of them just looking for that big hit. Yeah, they, they're just looking for that combo starter and another Leaf Shield just putting in work and just recognizing the same shield so to roll behind into a throw mm -hmm. just to get them out of it. And again, as I told you before, Dar, just any good attack can just hit you out of Leech Shield. Yeah. So if you have a good meaty button, you can just punch punch through it. Yeah, anything that's particularly destroying to do strong enough, if you space it just right uh, and initiate at the right time, you know, you'll be able to get away with it. People with a really anti-directional air dodge and a shooter, not really sure what they're looking to cover. Look at that, no double jump and a really nasty position. I love the idea from people. Uh, they tried to lock a shooter into shield so that they could maybe fall down with the back here, maybe yeah. get a shield poke. Um, love the attempt. Didn't find it, though. Yeah, the execution is not fully there. Who tries to maybe catch a jump from the ledge? People getting back onto the stage. And now this is still anybody's stock. A shooter just really fishing for these dash attacks. They're dashing back and forth and just looking for it. Yeah, people are now just fishing for a lot of F smashes you see in neutral. And just wants to stop <gasps> to end. And that's going to be it for people's first stop. Did that train? I think, I think that first down downer traded with the down B, but you know what, at the end of the day, people are still going to be able to find that stuff. Back at completely even, exchanging the uh, side B twice, and look at all of the shield pressure. Falling multi-hit projectile, followed up by another one. That's just, that's a lot that you have to deal with. It'll cover yeah. so many options. Alright, just grabbing the wrong way, unfortunately. And you see people go for a lot of shield grab here, and this is just missing the mark on... Lucky for him, that one's just completely unsafe. Oh, interesting use of side B though, but again, it just keeps on putting themselves in a nasty position. Once again, as Pikachu, you have access to Quick Attack. Quick yeah. Attack, maybe one of the most ambiguous recoveries in the game. You can't, you, it makes it so difficult for the opponent to react to where you're going. Why would you opt for side B though? It, it leaves you so vulnerable. Yeah, I don't know, Dar. And but you would have been able to attack. <laughs> I do know that Pipro has some of the best Mega Man days I've seen in a long yeah. time. Oh, look at that tracking with down B as well, just recognizing uh, they wouldn't be able to get the full hit if they released it right then and there. But again, A shooting with these offstage down Bs covering so much space, and that is really where Pikachu thrives, finding those kills offstage. Yeah, and with Mega Man not having an attack to go up with with his up B, just makes him a, more of a sitting duck in those situations and easier for Pikachu to track down. And now we have each person on their last stock. Gets one up, who tries to find that second one. It's not going to be able to do so quite yet, but a shooter quick attacking maybe a little bit too aggressively from the corner. People, I like the attempt with a preemptive up tilt just in case a shooter went right into him. Um, but right now he's just trying to find his way out of the corner. Yeah. All right. Managed to get out the corner and fair with the aggressive option with fair. I feel like all these up tilts from people just end up being vulnerabilities at the end of the day. Oh, and what, you know what? what? what I said? lied. I what lied. What people are hard to you. Heard you talking. Man, I hate it here. Every single time I take a little opportunity to want to talk a little bit of smack, maybe maybe say like, oh, this isn't working out. Suddenly that thing works out. Yeah. Commentator's curse is, is, yeah. is quite real today. Yes, it is. So, the excellent usage, I think, of this set so far. Uh, those up tilts from Peepro, phenomenal. All of them were great. Yep.